All right. <laughs> that was the warm up. For today's entry, my first entry of 2018, welcome to Luna Sky Diamond. And what I would like to share with you is some of the lessons that I learned in 2017 that I would like to share with you. And they are important lessons. <laughs> My last entry was about asking yourself, what are the filters that I can go without at least for a while as an exercise of freedom? So what I did regarding that was um, to actually let go of cigarettes for a while as an exercise of freedom and so far, so good. The other thing that I learned was that in every experience of pain and sorrow, there is a blessing in disguise. And actually, every single thing that you have to go through in life that gives you pain and sorrow is actually because it's an opportunity to grow. So my last entry was regarding seeing the golden treasure in those experiences that has had causes a lot of pain. So what are the blessings? The blessings are, first of all, to learn to have a lot of compassion for self and instead of feeling, oh, I'm so stupid for believing this and that, <laughs> say, hey, I was just so naive for having expectations because expectations are the cause of sorrow. So, for instance, if we focus on something that has caused us a lot of pain in 2017, then we... Uh, think about the blessing that that experience has given us. In my personal case, um, I finished a relationship and uh, that was very hard. And uh, even though I was full of um, grief and anger, anger for not accepting reality as I wanted it to be, um, and coming to terms with what it is and uh, having the courage to let go <laughs> without falling in depression. <laughs> well, or falling in depression and feeling your feelings, but actually raising up. So basically my point is instead of um, seeing uh, the experience as something of sorrow, then seeing the experience as a golden opportunity to grow. So my question is, think about that something that really had caused you a lot of pain in the last year. So then, what is the blessing that that thing has given you? So in my personal case, the blessing of this relationship uh, with the with for which I have shared a lot of tears, <laughs> has given me, has been point back um, the path within. So basically to look within myself to find the happiness and do not have any expectations. So what I have learned is that in a relationship you are always going to relate to that significant other from the point of view that you see yourself. So basically, what is your relationship with yourself? Is that one of trust? Is that one of self-acceptance? Is that one of unconditional love? Is that one of compassion? 
is that one of like really self love because if it's not that with self then it cannot be with anybody else so basically what i have learned from 2017 that i would like to share with you that i am going to apply on 2018 to the best of my ability and i invite you to do the same is to for those who are still single <laughs> and want to manifest the relationship that you want in your life basically it all comes up to what is the relationship that you have with yourself so it came to me yesterday the question which is okay if the lesson for 2018 is that I am going to love myself in the way that I want to be loved loved by a significant other so if that is what I want then it has to be some clarity in the things that I want so that I can manifest them <laughs> so the question is um, how do I want to be loved or basically how am I going to start loving myself or continue to develop this love for self more and more but this time with more awareness so my question to you is how do you want to be loved so basically is how are you going to love yourself first so then then the law of attraction brings that of which you are looking for but if it doesn't come from within it's not going to come from anywhere <laughs> That was my harsh lesson uh, <laughs> for, for last year. So here, just here, focusing on the blessings of the things that has, have happened. So um, let me see what else would I like to share with you over here. Well, yes, just to share some vulnerability about the things that I have said of how I want to love myself or how I want to be loved, just to share with you. And you can, of course, <laughs> make a list of your own. But just to give you some examples that I came up with uh, in the last 24 hours. So I want to be loved or I want to love myself intimately with a lot of intimacy. That means transparency, uh, integrity, and truth on the table. That means seeing the goddesshood and the goddess, the godhood and the goddesshood. So basically, I am looking for in a partner or I am looking for in myself, in myself to be aware that I am a goddess and I want a partner, of course, that first and foremost, he himself is aware that he is a god and acts according to that. <laughs> it has to be like that. There's no other point anymore. Like there's no other discussion. There's like, it has to be like that. Somebody who is aware who for who he is, because I wanna be aware for who I am. I am, and what I'm talking about is that God is I. You either get it or you don't. <laughs> it's very simple. So that cut, cuts a lot of people right there. <laughs> and also an experience to learn for, to, to self, to be aware of, of this, that I am the co-creator of my own reality. And that I accept myself, I know myself, and that I am the co-creator of my own life. Um, what else? Uh, Self-acceptance. So, of course, somebody who accepts me for who I am without trying to change me and uh, of course there's a lot of room for improvement but at the same time what I'm talking about myself is 
self-acceptance for who I am and where I am at the moment with love and compassion and with always having a vision towards the perfect and best version of myself that I can possibly be so that I can at the same time have that vision of perfection as I see it basically um, software downloading zzz, while at the same time I am living in this temporal reality and then as I have this vision eventually I'm just gonna shift quantumly into a parallel reality that matches my vibration and my vision um, I would like somebody to be in love with me so basically what I'm saying is I want to be in love with me <laughs> be totally in love with me is that super important and have having admiration and respect so that's what I wanted to share with you uh, what else have I learned or have I seen in the last 24 hours I mean no, last 24 hours but um, I wanted to share with you two quotes from the law of one this is coming from the raw material the law of one my Bible I suggest I suggest I suggest you investigate into it for some um, more happiness and blessings coming your way through awareness, awareness of who you are. All right, so I would like to share this with you and then I'm going to close the video. Ra, which is who, I mean, they are a six density um, society complex, mind, body, spirit, six density brother and sisters that are connecting, connected to us through some karmic accounts that have happened, but that's besides the point. <laughs> the law of one and Ra says, the most important catalyst is the radiation of realization of oneness from the creator from the self so basically you see if you believe that we are all one with our brother and sisters and whatever why wouldn't be why wouldn't be why wouldn't us be one with God if we're all one well in that case God is included so that's very beautiful <laughs> and another thing that I wanted to share with you was that I mean this just touched me in my heart because since I was very young I have always have had this desire to be in service to others <laughs> still finding my way out <laughs> my my way <laughs> And this is precisely why I'm doing these videos, because uh, Ra says to one of the people he's talking to at the moment in the channeling, and he is saying to this person, the attempt of making this information available is your service. We're talking about the law of one. The attempt if it reaches one, reaches all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace out. I love you.